Let's talk about peptides. Peptides are the new hot thing, and if you want to include peptides in your skincare regimen, go for it, but just know that they're the icing on the cake. They are not a required step. They are not as clinically proven as many of the things out there, and sometimes when you sort of combine too many peptides to your skin, you actually can cause the peptide uglies and just actually overstimulate or activate your skin. So peptides are just tiny little molecules that promote or signal your body to do something. Our body makes them, um, there's hundreds available, and right now it is the hot thing that is selling products, is putting the title peptide in that product. You don't need peptides in your face wash. Just gonna throw that out there. Peptides can be helpful if you have a specific goal that that peptide has been proven to help with. And one of the most sort of best studied ones is Argelene, which has been shown to make our skin look smoother. So if you want to make your skin look smoother and you're already doing your vitamin C and you're already doing your sunscreen and you're already doing your night turnover product, sure, add Argelene in. There's a number of different products out there that has that, including Petox by SkinCeuticals, and it's fun and it will make your skin look smoother temporarily, but as soon as you stop using the peptide, that change will go away. While using sunscreen, using vitamin C, using retinol, those will lead to long-term improvement to your skin. If you want to add in peptides, you should be doing all of the other key things first, and then go cautiously. Do not expect a miracle. Just know that so often these things are added to skincare because it's a selling point, not that it's actually gonna be beneficial to your skin.